Hi dolls, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my January favourites. So the products that I have loved through the month of January and I've picked up through the month of January as well. So I'm just going to be showing you loads of hair and makeup products. So I'm just going to be doing them randomly and to show you what I've actually really loved and enjoyed. So if you'd like to see that then just keep on watching. Okay, to start off with, I have been absolutely loving to set my makeup is the Ben Nye Loose Powders, the Luxury Powders in the Banana and the Cameo Powder. Next one is, you've seen me use in a lot of my videos, is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. And I've absolutely loved this to set my whole face and my under eyes if I cannot be bothered to get the loose powder out. I just use this quickly just to set everything and I'm, on, off, I'm good to go. Blushes, I definitely have to say I've been trying to use my MAC blushes a lot so I've been using this a lot throughout the month of January and it's my blusher palette which has got loads of the blushes in which is Pink Venus, Ginger Lee, just loads of cockneys, loads of different blushes in there so that is that palette there I've been loving and using loads and again for um, another MAC product is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle which they still have got available currently at MAC and this has been absolutely excellent to highlight. For bronzing, the next product is the by MAC, the In The Riri Collection. It's the bronzing powder and um, I've been absolutely loving this. It's nearly started to hit pan on it and it just gives you that beautiful, nice glow finish and glow and a matted fire finish which is gorgeous for all the time use. Either you're going out or every day you can obviously build it up or build it down so yeah I've been definitely loving that for um, my bronzer. Okay, for my lips because it's getting around the winter time they do get a bit um, dry and stuff so I'd like to just keep them moist. I've been loving this sleek pout polish in the colour peach electrico peach so that's really been nice because it gives you that nice tint of a colour in your lips and it also does moisturise and plump your lips up so Definitely do go and check these out if you already haven't done so. They are excellent and um, they're really nice to use and very compact to keep with them. They do always uh, don't dry out or don't smell funny and yeah, I've been using these a lot. Okay, for my eye primer, I've been loving the um, Chill Down Eyes Pro Longwear Primer. It's like that and it's a gorgeous shimmery colour which has got loads of different shimmers in there. I've also, as you guys have seen on a number of my videos, I've been nearly finished it off is my Urban Decay M16 Concealer and this is by far better than MAC I seriously have to admit that I'm even wearing it now it does get rid of all the lines and everything around my face and I do absolutely love this and do highly highly recommend this product and I do think it's amazing for eyes I have been using a lot of eyeliner these days like doing a nice thick eyeliner and uh, be loving the L'Oreal Super Liner Precision Liner really nice and thin and then for my waterline and tight line I've been using the Smashbox black eyeliner in Onk Scara which I've ordered in a full size and I've been using the sample size currently is the Benefit Bad Girl Mascara and I absolutely love this I love the way the bristles are it's like the Colossal by Maybelline one so that has definitely been a favourite for my mascara. I love the way it just gets into all the corners and it gives you that false effect look. Also ladies, I've been using a lot of the NYX Jumbo Pencils. My favourite one is the one in the shade Milk. And I've been using these a hell of a lot. I've got so many of them now. And I've been loving these for using them in my waterline just to add um, that tad bit of colour in and um, just kind of to give my look a bit more like a pop of colour and uh, things like that and I've also been using these if, if I'm really in a rush just quick and easy just to put over my eyes and use it as a primer as well so these are absolutely excellent which is the NYX Jumbo Pencils Okay, I've also been loving my MAC wipes I think by far in the whole world these are the best wipes. I've tried loads of different wipes, simple ones and number seven ones which I do love and I do tend to use these as well on a daily basis because they're just affordable when they do have the offer on but these I find moisturise your skin, get rid of the makeup and actually give a nice glow and um, 
give it like a treatment to your skin and they smell absolutely gorgeous so we're loving these and I've actually run out of this packet so I'm going to be going and purchasing another one. For eyelashes definitely highly recommend the red cherry lashes which I've also been using and loving a lot and this is in the colour sorry in the shade sorry in the number 218. Using a lot is the Motus palette which is really quick and easy just to grab and use so I've been using this a lot especially when I do get a foundation that is a tad bit light I've been reaching for this a lot so I've been going for the pressed powder which is this shade here for under the eye area this one for all over the face and the runway blusher I've been using a lot out of this palette so just got to be using it a bit more and kind of get my money's worth out of it but I do highly recommend this palette I do think it's absolutely phenomenal and the colour output of it is amazing. Moving on to eyeshadows I have been using a lot is the Urban Decay Naked palette which is number one which I have been using a lot of it to create most of them everyday smoky different looks and also my favourite Coastal Sense 120 palette as well which I've used in a lot more of my videos to create them funky, colourful, beautiful, nice, party kind of looks. Okay, um, another product which I did, just picked up not a couple of months ago is the Urban Decay Brow Box. I have loved this and I have been using this again a hell of a lot to fill in my eyebrows and I absolutely love it. So for um, primer, I've been loving the Maybelline New York New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser primer potion so that's I've definitely got rid of the pores in my face and the fine lines and everything so um, that's definitely been a favourite as well if you'd like me see, to do a review on this and a demo then just leave a comment in the comments box below and I'll get that for you guys it goes for any of the products I've shown if you want me to do a review or demo on anything then just comment in the comments box and I'll get that for you guys I have been loving drugstore foundations at the moment not primarily just because it's affordable but just because I love the outcome and the coverage of it and they are the nude Magic L'Oreal Fresh for Your Foundation in the colour 220 Golden Sand and another one by L'Oreal is the True Match Foundation which I've been wearing on a daily basis in the colour Caramel Toffee number 605 so these two have definitely been a number one favourite of mine for foundations for the month of January every single month until I find something that I love it's the Urban Decay Rush Lipstick, which I absolutely adore, and I'm so gutted because I've literally got that much left. And that is the one that I'm currently wearing at the moment. And I do love this colour. I'm so glad that the lady who matched me up with the Urban Decay Foundation actually pulled this out and pointed out to me. So it's a really nice colour for every day. So I've been using this a lot. Ladies, that is it for makeup. Now moving on to oh sorry, just quickly to mention also I've been loving the Sigma kabuki brushes as well for doing my makeup which is the angled the flat and the tapered so definitely do give these um, a 10 out of 10 I've also got a coupon code for you guys for the month of February and um, it gives you 10% off your order so definitely do go and check that and I will list everything in the description box below so moving on to nail stuff I have been loving these quickies 20 nail varnish remover wipes with vitamin B5 to take off my nail varnish I just picked these up from Boots and they're really nice because it's really nice and compact and then you can just take whichever wipes you need out of there and use them on the go and they are definitely just not comp just not um sorry like everyday use ones they are to use like a proper nail varnish remover because some ones you do get that are compact that are not very good but these are excellent and for nail varnishes I have been loving the George nail varnishes that you get from Asda and the Beauty UK ones which I just picked up online okay ladies now moving on to hair products I have been absolutely loving my Alna Satin Hairspray I do find that I love it a lot more over the Tresemme uh, freeze hold just because primarily it gives my hair not like a gooey finish it gives it quite a nice natural finish it just gives it just a nice settling down sit and not too much of um, an overly frozen look so I've been loving that and this is what I picked up recently as well but it's the John Frieda wide tooth comb I love this one I've got my Bellamy extensions clipped in I've got that big voluminous curls and I just 
put this in to create the extra volume. Okay, to blow dry, I have been loving my Head Jog 80 brush, it's round bristle brush, loving it to blow dry. I've tried to blow dry my hair on a number of occasions just so to stay away from any of the hot tools so that my hair finally decides to grow if it eventually does. So yeah, definitely I've been loving that and using it a lot as well. And also for my hair routine, I've been using the Aussie shampoo and conditioner which I haven't got at hand and the three minute miracle um, condition as well and also the Alna volume three days heat protecting spray and the Wanda 10 10 effects leave-in treatment which I do put into my hair when I've just come out of the shower and then I've just towel dried my hair sprayed this in and then just towel dried it damply as well also the um, Osmo Blending Shine Definer, I love using this especially for my wispy bits in the front because my hair is actually growing at the moment, I do have it up, I do find that I do get a lot and this just kind of smooths it down so I've been loving that a lot. For volume, if I'm going to be washing my hair the next day or the same day, I don't want to use any hairspray because this does not feel that nice but it does give you that really volumised effect. It's a Tresemme 24 hour body volumizer so I have been loving this plumping powder and been using this a lot through the month of January as well and I do think it's absolutely amazing but it's just the downer is it does give your hair a really gluey kind of effect which I do not like so yeah probably I'm nearly finished out of this so I probably won't repurchase it. Okay moving on to um, hair tools I've been loving my GHD's limited edition pink orchid straighteners which are currently downstairs with a fabulous pro ceramic dialer heat 38 millimeters curling iron loving this for creating just really loose curls or just loose wavy hair which you just curl it upwards and then just let it down it just gives a flick at the end which i do love and i've been definitely loving this curling iron the most okay ladies last but not least um is my most favorite products of this month and that i have actually used for a whole month and um if you guys would like to see a review which i was going to put up six months down the line so i thought i could get a proper feel of it but i think that i have kind of got my head around how these extensions work so there are my lily bellamy hair extensions in the color number four chocolate brown absolutely love these these are by bellamy hair and i will list everything in the down box below they're definitely been a favorite of mine i did get them just cut and blended in recently and i do absolutely love them so i do use these again on a daily basis so yeah ladies um that is my january favorites for you guys i hope you have enjoyed um all these hair and beauty products and nails and i'm so sorry it's been a long video but i try to get as much things because i've been using and trying a lot of different products for the month of January. So yeah, I hope you ladies have enjoyed. Please do hit the thumbs up button and please also do subscribe and comment in the comments box below for any reviews or any um, comments on any products that you'd like to know and uh, definitely get back to you as soon as possible. And I shall see you lovelies on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Do take care. Bye.